Hey, how's it going everybody? So, the customer really liked the upper control arms and now he wants me to build them lowers. So, so I try to talk to him about, you know, save a penny, spend a dollar here. And uh, what's going to happen probably with these lowers is stuff it into a berm and all that pressure it's just going to fold this thing. These things are crap. So I already took the other one off. I don't know. So we'll build some new ones to match the uppers. Nice and strong. A little lighter weight. The X section, the cross section will be out of a little bit thinner steel. Doesn't need as much strength as the upper, obviously, because the upper's carrying all that shock load there. So see how they turn out. All right, so here's what I'm going to do since you're only getting about a little over an inch more of clearance by doing it this way, but you're also taking away a ton of strength in this area. And to bring the strength back, it's just, it's, it's easier to do with tubing, but since we're doing this with box, I think I'm just going to build them straight. I'm not going to worry about an inch of clearance. Uh, this is more of a short course or desert racer anyways, so not really rock crawling or anything needing that extra clearance. So we're going to build it strong. It's time to rock and roll. So I got my pieces made, I got them installed. I'm sitting here. And I got my one of my turnbuckles installed to adjust my camber here. And then to adjust my caster back and forth. So yeah, I can see. I'm gonna have to put one from this, probably from this lower ball joint. Or I may just be able to get a jack and kind of support it under here and get that angle that I need. So once I get my angles figured out, then I can start measuring and cutting pieces and getting them test fitted and tacked in. Get them all tacked in there, I'm gonna pull it off and we'll weld it together and put our bracing in and be done. Shouldn't be too hard. The lower's a little easier to you know, mount or deal with and a lot less strength needed. The upper one takes all the abuse, obviously. So check our angles before we tack anything and then we're going to put a healthy amount of tacks on it so it doesn't move on us. Alright, so we haven't moved. Our little contraption's holding up pretty good. Up. This isn't the ideal way of doing this really, we should be doing this in a jig so nothing moves. Alright guys, sorry I haven't been recording. I've just been trying to get stuff done here. Um, 
so. Get this all cut and fitted nicely. Should be pretty good. This is a 16 inch thick steel. This is 8 inch. Just have a little lighter weight in the center there. Be plenty strong. off here so I guess since I got this one already done here this will be the moment of truth see how well I since I'm not using a jig right on the money. So, cool. Getting lines up real nice. Sweet. Alright, so I wanted to address an issue I had since I am not using a jig and I'm doing all my finish welding up on this table, obviously not the vehicle. Um, had it, especially when I did my X brace because of the heat you're bringing in here, just wanting to squeeze together a little bit. You know, it was only an eighth of an inch. Um, I was able to spread it back out with my quarter power there, but uh, I'm going to try and avoid that this time by pre spreading it a little bit, and that way when it shrinks back up, it should be right on target. So we'll give that a shot and see how this one turns out. Check out the inner bushings. I'm going to spread it about an eighth of an inch um, and just probably weld a little brace across there and that will hold it while I'm welding the rest of it together. up the other one there so let me show you what we got here. Throw a little bit of paint on it for now. That's why I wasn't worried about scratching this one up because they're actually gonna go out to the powder coater but not for a while because we're gonna be doing some more stuff on this so we're just gonna throw some paint on it to kind of protect it as best we can for now. Turned out pretty good. We'll see how strong they are. We get it out to the desert. I'm sure they won't have an issue. All right, so we're all back together now. Both sides. Everything's looking good. Just gotta put the tires on. Do a little bit of alignment. And I uh, got rid of the crippled muffler and just welded this thing on that I have in the backyard. So it's upside down, but at least it's level. Uh, it'll work for now. Alright, all back together. I'm just gonna come pick it up. A little bit camera in the front. No, 
a lot, but it's noticeable. Mm -hmm. 